Sam. Sun is starting to come up. ¿Qué tienen en común un publicista, una administradora de empresas y un desempleado? No saben conducir. Here we are outside the driving school. It is not the one I originally planned to go to, but this one seemed to be a little more cooperative so I don't have to attend every day for a month classes. So I'm gonna go in for my first first class. I can't I can't do video inside there, but I'll keep you updated. I just got out and uh, all I had to do was uh, pay the balance and they registered me for classes through what's up so I get to go home and do it on my laptop and right there is the one I'm using two doors down is yet another one as I mentioned before they tend to keep uh, similar types of businesses in uh, in the same area and on the next block down there on the corner is a school and on the next block we have yet another one so those of you who are wondering why I have been putting out these videos other than the coffee time it's pretty simple if you've been following me at all, you know that I had this massive computer problem and I had all kinds of things to do and it was a project that I worked on for weeks to get everything back together. So it's not only back together, but I have this superior, stupendous, magnificent, spectacular studio to do my videos in now when I'm here. However, I also need to get this driver's license thing going <clears throat> because there's people coming from the United States, Canada, etc., and they're hiring me to guide them around and shed light on what it's like to live here and where to go and what to see and all that. And that's cool. That's great. But that's also taking some time. I do have some plans to get out and start doing some videos again. You know, I've got this part of it done. I've got all my equipment up and running and ready to go. Everything's cool. I got uh, backup video cards, all the things that I had issues with, I've managed to put together, got backups to the backups. It's pretty sweet. So I'm kicking it off with this one, which is basically, i uh, be throwing in there from time to time anything that might be of interest about getting your license. Now, I did mention in the coffee time that I decided to go with this school instead of Daytona, and there's a lot to choose from. It's a little bit cheaper, not a lot, about $25, $30 cheaper, which, you know, I'm a penny pincher, so, I mean, that's important. But what was really important is that Daytona, they were requiring that I go through the entire program. And the entire program is the theory where basically you're sitting in a classroom or behind a computer, and it's, <clears throat> excuse me, blah, 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 why do you need a license? you know, the book part. And then you've got the practical where you go out and they teach you how to drive. 
well, I've been driving over 50 years. And so, you know, I didn't really want to go through all of that. And all of that was going to take quite a period of time. Used to be you could just buy your way out of it. Used to be you could actually turn in your um, out-of-country license and go through a process that took two to four weeks and for a very small amount of money, <clears throat> excuse me, you could convert it to a Colombian license. And that's not happening anymore. I've, I've talked about that as to why, but it's just not, it's just not a possibility for me right now. So can't do that. Don't want to go through the two month long ordeal. This school, Natalie helped me find this one actually. She called around and, and they were willing to do a minimum amount of the theory so I can uh, log in for the, you know, the DMV aspect of it, make it official. And they're just going to put me through. It depends. I mean, we're going to wait and see anywhere from one to two weeks, a couple hours a day, five days a week. That's considerably better than the four hours a day for four weeks. Um, so, and then when it comes to the practical for the driving test, that's essentially what they're going to do. They're going to uh, make sure that I know the road signs, and which are mostly the same. Uh, so we're going to go through that, and then they're going to take me out driving. And if I can drive, which I can, um, then they're just going to kind of push that through. So this whole thing, they told me that, you know, once I complete it, then it takes about two weeks for the license to turn up. Plus, you have to get a medical exam. Uh, they that's included in the in the cost so by the time uh, today is Tuesday the 26th is it yep Tuesday January 26 2021 um, began today so from today it should be about four weeks in total four to five weeks by the time I receive the license unless we can speed it up a little more once we get rolling so stay tuned. I'll be throwing in a little installments, uh, uh, some video clips that I've had built up. I'll throw those in and um, see if we can get this thing back on track. Thank you all for being there. Thanks for all the support you have. I appreciate you. I love all you guys. It's, uh, we've got this great little community interested in, uh, in visiting Colombia. Uh, some of you still uh, from Ecuador and any information you want there, I'd be happy to give it to you. Live there over three years. And um, I guess that'll be it. We'll see you soon.